Hey love bucks! Today I'm bringing a very highly requested video and this is my what is on my iPhone video. I currently have the iPhone 5C and I don't have a case on it right now. I'm really bad. Um, I love the color of it and I haven't found a case I really like with this phone. So I thought I would show you guys what I have on my phone. Um, so what I use to like edit my selfies for Instagram, all the apps that I really like to use, games I like to play, that kind of thing. And yeah, this was really highly requested, so I hope you guys enjoy. So here's what you see when you open up my iPhone. This is just a photo my really good friend took of me um, of where we are staying in Tampa. Oops, over spring break when I come and visit her this spring. And then obviously I have to enter my password. And here's my phone, and you can see I only have two pages. Well, barely. So we're going to start off with what I kind of have the least of. Um, I really don't play games on my phone ever. And when I do, I get really obsessed with it until I beat it, and then I kind of like find something new. But lately I've been hooked on this down here. This is called Agent Alice and you guys it is so freaking fun I don't know if you've ever heard of it but it's kind of like a mystery game it's sort of um it's kind of like a story but you have to play as this detective um well agent Alice basically and you have to find clues in the crime scene so like um let's see it says that I need to find the chandelier the cigar whatnot so the chandelier is up here um and then as I keep moving forward and find things like I don't know where anything is right now so if I press the search button, it'll tell me. Like it'll give me a little hint and whatnot. Um, and then the timer starts, so it kind of gives it... Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose this. It kind of gives it like um, an air of... I don't know, it kind of gives you a bit of a challenge, so it's not just like a searching game. It opens up essentially in the middle of a mystery, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Um, but I really like it because it just it's kept my attention. Um, you play as Agent Alice and you're solving different crimes. The artwork is super beautiful and the characters, um, other than Alice, kind of help you like progress in the story. If you enjoy things like Criminal Minds or um, just crime shows and detective shows, you'll really like it because it's, it's quite similar. Oh my gosh, sorry. I was like so caught up in it, but I just cleared um, that floor. You have different episodes and a new episode comes out every single week. The art is amazing. The story itself is really, really, really fun. And I'm not usually a big fan of like these kinds of games. So it has to be pretty cool to like keep my interest for the most part. Um, I'm going to have a link for you guys down below because I've been really obsessed with it lately. And I'm not really that into it yet. I'm still figuring it out. Um, oh my god, I gotta quit or else I'm just gonna keep playing, but I'll leave a link uh, down below for you guys to go and check it out. So obviously Agent Alice is the only game that I'm playing, so down here I have my Spotify app, my phone app, my emails, and Safari. And you're going to, I hope you're not one of those people who gets really annoyed by the notifications, because seriously, I never answer anything on my phone, <laughs> apparently. Um, up here I have messages, um, calendar, photo, camera, weather, clock, maps, all the huge. Um, these are just things that I use regularly, but I wanted them in a folder because I didn't use them as regularly as everything else. So like um, voice memos, calculator, compass, notes, you get, you get the drill. And then down here is where it starts to get into the fun stuff. I have photography, and my favorite um, photo editing app of all time is VSCO Cam. You can see I'm obsessed, like absolutely freaking obsessed. Um, I'll show you how it works. Uh, just, I'm going to take this photo. And you have different filters down here, and you can adjust like how much of the filter that you have and add stuff. Like if you go over here, um, you can change up the contrast. Uh, well, that, that was not the contrast. You can change up like the contrast and the brightness and whatnot. Or you can do like the uber cool um, fading kind of thing. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. So yeah, I really love this. It's my favorite photo editing app of all time. Then I have Facetune, which sometimes I use, um, sometimes I won't. I edited this photo earlier, and you can see what it looked like before and after. Sometimes I just like to airbrush my face a bit. Depends on the photo. Like, if it's going to be in this photo, I was recommending a lipstick, so I kind of, like, brightened up my lips, so the emphasis was kind of on them. I brightened my eyes because I was looking a little bit tired, and I kind of smoothed over my skin. Um, this is a really cool app, but it does cost money, and it's really straightforward. I suggest if you want it to download it because you have a bunch of different things down here. Sorry the lighting keeps going wonky. You can brighten your teeth, um, smooth down your skin, uh, you know, kind of like make, make things more detailed, and it's just really cool. I also have Retrica, which until recently I used... <laughs> you can kind of see yourselves. Hi! Oh my gosh, like Inception. Um, this is tripping me out. Until recently I used this for a timer on my phone. I really don't know why I have this anymore since I never use the app anymore. Then we have um, Insta Collage, I think. Is that what you are? Yes. And this is how, um, oh my god, go away. <laughs> 
Um, this is how I put my photos like side by side. If I want to do a collage of some kind, you can remove all the borders and whatnot. Um, so like pick no frame and then remove all the borders. So they're just side by side and I really like it. We have square ready, which is how I get the white border on my photos um, and how I fit photos on st onto Instagram. So we'll just pick my last uh, selfie, which I was just hamming it up right now. This is completely unedited, but if I like want to put this on Instagram, you know, I can um, fit it to how I want it to look, if that makes sense. Then lastly, I have Afterlight, which I like a lot for filters. Um, like, okay, so if I choose, we'll choose the same selfie. <laughs> um, if I go into this photo, I really like how Afterlight can add um, the light leaks. So it has a bunch of different options um, of light, light leaks and stuff like that. So I don't use it all the time, but it is really fun when I want that. Then for social media, I have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, which I literally never use. Never. Um, I snap one of my friends from back home, and that's pretty much it. I have um, the YouTube Creator Studio, obviously. I have Facebook, YouTube, and Facebook Messenger, which again, I never use. Then I have some um, shopping apps I really like. I have Sephora, Starbucks. The Sephora app is amazing. I like use this way too freaking much. Um, it's like my actual addiction. If it ever loads, yeah, you can just like shop on the app and it's so simple to place orders and stuff like that. So I love it. I also have Ulta and Hot Look, which is one of my favorites. Then for lifestyle, I have a bunch of things. I have FaceTime, which I almost never use, so I just stuck it in here. I have my bank, um, my Uber app, I have my PayPal app, my Weight Watchers app, and my Stylekick app, which is how I check in when I'm shopping and get points so I can get gift cards, and I use it constantly. I absolutely love it. Um, there's a link down below for like free points and stuff if you want to sign up through me. Then we have Audible, which is where I get audiobooks. I love it. I'm not affiliated with them. I just really enjoy it. I have my Bible app. Um, we have apps that I don't give a crap about and I never use. So <laughs> these are all things I'm never really going to look at. So I just kind of keep them in utilities. We have music. And most of my music is on Spotify, so I never really play music through this app. All I have on here is, like, a few Land and Austin songs and, like, oh, Bethany Mode is on here, too, and, like, Taylor Swift and U2. U2, unfortunately. And then again, Spotify, phone, email, um, Safari. I'll go ahead and show you Spotify in case. Um, wait, no, my full name might be on it. Hang on. This is where I just listen to all my music. So I have a bunch of albums I've been listening to really recently. And it's a streaming app, but you can download music through it. And then on the second page, all I have is iBooks and podcasts, which I don't use that often, but I don't want to like, I don't know, if I ever want them, I'm usually like, I don't know, like in the bath or something. So I just thought they belonged on this page, but that is what is on my iPhone. So that was my what is on my iPhone video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.